which is what we suspected just reading it off. All right, so there's that proof. Now I'm going to show you that same proof where I don't do the existential first and instead I do the universal first. And we'll compare them when I'm done. So that first premise again, everything is real or imaginary. There exists something that is not real. Therefore, everything is imaginary. Take the negation of the conclusion. Uh, I'm going to do my negation rule first. So push that tilde through, change the quantifier. All right. So usually, and I'll put this here so you can see it. Usually I would do my EXs first, but now I'm going to do the universal first. This one's done. So I'm going to do the universal. When I'm doing the universal, there are no letters, A through W, so I get to choose whichever one I want, RA or IA. So whenever a universal you do first, you get to pick one. And I'm going to put an A there to remind myself that I've instantiated it with A. Now I've got my existentials to do. Existential, I have to choose a brand new constant. So I can't use A, so I'll use B, tilde RB, then I get to check the existential. Now I'm going to do this EX. I can't use A or B, so I'll use C, tilde IC. All right, so now I've introduced a B and a C into my proof. And looking back up here, I have this universal. This universal has to be instantiated with every constant that shows up in your proof at any time. And I've just introduced a B and a C. So now I've got to come back up here and I've got to do it with a B and a C as well. So we'll get RB or IB and RC or IC. All right, so basically you can already kind of see why it was better to do the existentials first because I've introduced more lines than I needed to here. I have these three disjuncts rather than just two. I'm going to finish it out just so that you can see it and you'll see how much more sprawly the tree ends up being. Uh, so the quantifiers are taken care of. I have these three wedges to deal with. I'll start from the top. RA IA, uh, nothing is crossing out yet, go on to this B one, again, I have to perform the rule on every open path, got two open paths, RB, IB, RB, IB, now hopefully some of these are going to cross off, not the IB, but the RBs will. IBs aren't, but again, those RBs are. So now I have two open paths, but I'm not done because I still have one more disjunct to carry out. So I'll do that here. Again, two paths to do it in both places. RC, IC, RC, IC. And this path is open R C I B R A I C R B tilde R B sorry. So that one's open. So I already know it's invalid. But I'll finish it out. The I C until the I C cross out. The I C until the I C cross out here. <coughs> sorry. And the this path is again open. So we got open paths, so it's invalid. So taking a look at both of those, you see the difference. I got the right answer either way, and that's always the case. You'll get the right answer. You'll just have to do a lot more work if you instantiate the universals before the existentials. So always do your existentials first if you can, and most often you can, especially the proofs that I'll be giving you. All right, I want to show you one more that's valid, just so you get to see a couple 